All right, here we go, guys, and we're back at the 2022 Stewart Boat Show from this past winter. We're going to look at small center councils marketed as 22 to 23 footers with entries from Axa Park, Key West, Parker, Robalo, Sailfish, and Edgewater. A lot of boats to get through. We're going to get through them quickly, about two, two and a half minutes each boat, trying to get as many boats in as I can. The prices are way out there the cheapest entry is the Robalo at 77,000 the most expensive is the Edgewater at 145,000 I'll come back at the end of the video and let you know my thoughts which would I pick and yeah again I mentioned marketing earlier a lot of these boats are marketed as 22s and 23s but their actual length is slightly smaller again um you know boat manufacturers don't necessarily have to be accurate with the way they market the boat. You have to do your due diligence. Hope you enjoy this video. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. So we've shown these boats before. Axel Parr had a video last year, 2021, of this model. This one caught my eye. This greenish blue color little yellow tinting axle so far it's actually a 22 uh it's a 2021 model and it's at the boat show for 92 144 with i'm gonna take my shoes off and jump on see what model mark this is i can't tell 200 200 mark so it maintains all that quirkiness of the Haxo cars, the narrow, narrow hulls, but in a really open boat format. No T-top, almost looks like a little race car setup. Um, yeah. It's a very narrow, narrow boat. We'll see if we can get some specs on it. Got a big uh, combination anchor storage locker up here. This pops up too, not that I can know. Oh, this is just forward seating. More seating here. Not much in the way of storage on this. Anything under here? Let's see. It doesn't look like there is. There might be, I don't know. Two seats, very interesting. So now, I'm not sure who would buy this. 92,000 is a, a good price. 2022 for a 22 foot boat but uh yeah i'm not sure what you do in this boat cruise i guess uh and even if you cruise you don't have any protection you have a lot of seats though yeah there is storage under there my my bad i just don't know how to get it up but it's right here um yeah very interesting boat 22 axle par first time i've seen one all right this is a West 239, so almost 24 feet with a Yamaha F300 boarding ladder here. That's a nice touch. Again, I like these integrated boarding ladders. Big large well here as soon as you walk in. Four rod holders here. Four more on top. Spot for your life jackets. Bolster seating. Flip up bolster seating. Single garment display. You can option it out with a second. Yamaha multifunction gauge, fusion stereo. We saw this on their 21. Nice area for your uh, keys and phones, wallets, spot for a table up there. Definitely have nice room here to put some uh, put some drinks, store some bumpers, anchor locker up there. Another cooler here. More room for dock lines or uh, tackle weights maybe over there. This is going to be loaded, I'm sure, with their cushions, but yep. Decent sized head in here. Put a porta potty in there. And again, um, second live well here. And either side has a little cooler box too. More of that tackle storage there if you want to put weights or whatever. They, they don't waste any space here. I like this spot for your uh, ski racks if you want to go skiing um yeah so the price on this i talked to the salesman 91 lightly optioned to you know 110 115 um if you get it all blinged out so again in line with other 24s uh best-selling boat in florida it's a good entry level 
mid-tier boat. Uh, it's not the fanciest. It's certainly not the sloppiest. It rides, I, I've ridden on one, it rides nice. Yeah. And you have cushions here, so you could put uh, three, four people across the, uh, across the stern there. All right. Now I feel like I'm back home in the Northeast in New York. 2022 Parker 23 SE. So this is the modified Parker, 28 feet. That's the length overall. I think that's, uh, the running surface is not 28 feet. Single Yamaha F250, 109,000. So this was uh, at last year's show and it was significantly cheaper. Sundance Marine, hey, I've heard of them. Let's jump on board. So again, Parkers, tough, no frills, functional boats. You got a notch transom here. I'm not a fan of those, but uh, it is what it is. Got two storage boxes here, battery here. I'm gonna guess another battery here. There's another battery there. Bilge access right here. Um, you can put cushions here and have people sit there. Bolster seats here. Again, not the, not the nicest material. Single Yamaha digital control, Yamaha multifunction gauge, Garmin, Garmin radio, little windshield, electronics box up here, and uh, an open bow. You don't see this much anymore. No forward seating. Um, hate the fact that the anchor locker opens this way, but at least it folds down, and you you are able to uh, you are able to maneuver the anchor are these combos no these are cup holders um but obviously a ton of a three-piece design you see that this is a cap so you can actually put your knees here and uh not stub your feet against the uh, uh against the base of the hull does this open this does not appear to open so no forward cooler let's take a quick look yeah, very small head compartment. The floor is low. Um, exposed wiring here. Uh, 109,000. Not finished all that great, but it is what it is. 23 foot boat. This is a modified VVSC, so it's not a deep V. I don't know. I like the simplicity of it, but I don't think the price matches the simplicity. I would have uh, expected this to be 75 to 80 for what you're getting. You, know, you guys tell me what you think. I know Parker, family owned for many, many years, bought out by a private equity company uh, a year or two ago. Pop-up cleats, which is nice. Still think it's a uh, little, little overpriced for what you're getting, which is not a deep V, which is a notch transom, which is an unfinished head. Um, maybe equivalent here, but... Uh, I don't know. I don't see a lot of value here. All right, here's the 22 Robalo 77386 with a Yamaha 200 as shown. Let's jump aboard. There's the single Yamaha 200. I like this. The boarding ladder that's integrated into the platform back here. Got a big seat here. You got a live well here. You could add some cup holders. Uh, pardon me, some rod holders here. Two cup holders exist already. Four more on top. Pretty wide for a 22. Uh, certainly feels wider than some of the other 22s I've been on. Fish box here. Massive storage up here in the front. Again, you got a little seat up here. And I believe this one opens on the side too. It does. There you go, there's a porta potty in there. Uh, not the biggest head, but 22 foot boat. You're not gonna have a uh, Leona Helmsley palatial head. Very basic seat here, no flip up bolsters, but that's okay. Actually very comfortable to sit in and drive. You have a really nice Vantage. No electronics on this one. You got room for 112. Maybe you can squeeze a 16 in here. I don't know, Clarion stereo though. Looks like this is a uh, mechanical control. I could be wrong, but looks like a mechanical control. Footrest down there. Yeah. Again, 77 grand. Pop-up cleats. That's a nice touch. I'd add a few more rod holders if you're in my boat. You do have a little 
electronics box up here on a tension hinge. Little space for cell phones, wallets, keys, Clarion stereo, Yamaha digital uh, uh, gauges there. All right. We got a 22 sailfish, 22 model year, and 22 feet, 111.5. Let's see if we can step on in this windy condition. Again, uh, tow bar here, nice little built-in ruler here. I like that, single 200, that's the four-cylinder Yamaha. Live well back here, it is on a tension hinge, that's nice. Seat here. Not a fan of those seats, but uh, that's just me. Flip up bolsters, they flip up nice and smooth. Looks like you get a Garmin, single display, Yamaha, multifunction gauge, a Fusion stereo, a couple, uh, couple of cup holders, which is nice, four rod holders on top. Room for a cooler if you strap it in back there. Uh, you do got a little bit of storage there, a little bit of storage on the footrest. A little tight here. Let's see how the head compartment looks. Got a little porta potty in here. Um, yeah, your standard. This is a 22 foot boat, so just getting ahead on it is nice. Little seat up here. Not sure if there's any uh, anything under it. We'll see. There isn't. This appears fixed in place. Uh, storage here. Storage here. Anchor locker up there. A very basic boat. Selfish is a, a you know pretty good mid brand boat. Um, 111 for 22. That's the state of the market right now, I guess. All right. <laughs> 2022 Edgewater 230, 145, single 300, Yamaha 42 block, digital steering, porta potty, uh, fusion stereo, has upholstery. Let's take a look inside. 145 for a 23 boarding liner in there that's a nice touch it's like four rod holders back here fresh water shower here if you want to wash off before you get back in the boat it's a tow bar if you want to do some water sports a small live well here 20 something gallons i would guess cup holders rod holders no rod holders here but you got five on top we have a full windshield here too. I know that Edgewater has, it will actually close if you're in bad weather, you want some protection and it'll open up if you're cruising or it's a hot day or you're just drifting around the sandbar. There you go. Nice forward area, anchor locker on a gas assist hinge here. storage under here it's all finished another forward opening area there's a table for the front so 145 but I don't know you're getting a really nice finish yeah, you compare it to that that smaller Grady which was 50 grand more I would rather have this that's not a, a knock on Grady just I think this boat feels bigger, number one. Because um, the Grady loses a lot of space in the back. So the transom is, it, is like monstrous. Um, slide out cooler. Great. Just feel like you get more with this one. No electronics on this one, so you gotta factor that in. Really small glove box in here, electronics box. Life jacket storage here. Yep. Edgewater 23. And again, Edgewater is the same company that the Dowerty's uh, founded. Uh, that's Edgewater, Solace, uh, Everglades, and the roots go all the way back to Boston Whaler. So uh, they know quality. And we're back, and I'll give you my unbiased opinion on each boat. First, that axle part, quirky, narrow. Uh, not for me, but if you're only using it for cruising, I think it's fine. Uh, limited fuel capacity, too. Certainly not something I would buy. That Key West, nice boat, very busy with the seating. Again, not something I would take. But, uh, you know, at that mid-price point, about 110 I would say, 
I think it's a decent model. I know it rides well. That Parker 109K, no way for me. The shallowest dead rise out of all these boats, uh, notch transom, um, that exposed wiring. I, I, again, I I love the simplicity of it. If it was a deep V, if it had a Euro or a, a bracketed transom, I would be all over that boat first. But the way it was optioned and 109k I, I would pass Roballo that's what I would pick at these prices 77k it's a little smaller it's one of those marketed boats that you know they call it a 222 it's not 22 feet 2 inches slightly smaller but you can't beat that price and yes you're not getting digital steering you're not getting electronics so it is again uh, not quite as optioned out as those other boats but at that price that's what I would pick uh, Sailfish 111K, very similar to the Key West. I would probably take that second if I was, you know, using my own money to buy it, buy one of these boats. And last but not least, that Edgewater. If money was not an object, if you said, John, we're going to give you one of these boats for free, absolutely that Edgewater, best fit and finish out of all the boats, lots of nice features. Um, that's what I would pick. But again, at 145K, it is double, double the price of the Roballo and almost the same size. So I, I could not, from a value proposition, Picture myself taking that uh, edge quarter over that Roballo. Well, those are my opinions. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing.